equivalent to the one that it will be issued by the shipper because the one from the shipper is hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Tessie. you're welcome please subscribe before leaving this video i'm going to be talking to you guys about italian language school italian adult language school or let's generalize the italian language school for foreigners for italian as well but for, for basically for foreigners okay so um i'm going to be giving you guys the difference between two schools here in italy language a school that is organized by the foreigners and one of the school is called cpr which is c p i a in english and there is another language school that is organized by the church that one is also good they teach you everything like i have in my house here a book and i got from the two i don't know if i still have it somewhere i'm looking at my library here um so in this video i'm going to explain to you guys the difference between the, i said cpr language adult uh italian language school or adult school because they don't only cover the uh, language school you can still continue you know to is they are adult school but not only for the language a1 and a2 is the language level and also third semester but a1 a2 b1 b2 and it continues with c if you don't if you want to get um italian uh, language certificate to c they have it okay so today i'm going to be explaining to you guys the difference here i'm going to be using my this book for example these two book here are from Italian school. The same, this one here is from CPR, and this one here is from the one that is organized by the by the church. So, what is the difference? Now, let me explain. Let me start from CPR. This is the book. Io e Italiano is written on this book. This is, the book is like this. I don't know if they still give if they still make you buy this book when you start A one and A two with CPR. Okay. So this is the book here. The difference between this and this is that this one is organized by the government. This one, the certificate of CPR comes from, okay, this one here. When you get A1 and A2, I don't know if most of you know that. I don't know if the law also have also changed because I, didn't, I, I don't know about it right now. But before I knew, I knew that when you have A1 and A2, if you come in with your husband's um under your husband permit like like uh, your husband permits of the sojourn no? like a working permit when you come in you will still stay under your husband so that means if something happened you and your husband are going back to the country if your husband loses his job you are going back to you with your husband because if your husband's permit to stay expired yours also expired but with the level of a1 and a2 as of then when i was going to the school you can with the um with the certificate because the, the certificate comes from the rome from rome you can actually if you have a1 and a2 you can apply for your own uh permit of the subject which is permit to stay because you already have the basic knowledge of the italian language with the certificate you can use it to apply for your own permit of the sojourn you can get a job and apply for your own permit of the sojourn which is permit to stay to separate from your husband's own i'm talking about maybe people that comes in here with their husband and they have problem this saved a lot of uh eastern european people and other part of like morocco because i have a friend i mean i have a classmate that she's uh, she's in morocco and this is what saved her she was in class with me for a1 and a2 so she was the one that actually told me when she uh when she was um having problem with her husband that thank god that she has this that she used to apply for permit to the sojourn to separate herself from her husband because if she don't have her permit to stay out of her husband if they divorce she will no longer stay with the man she has she has no choice than to go back to morocco so this is one good thing about cpr cpr certificate comes from rome they don't come from your common they don't come from church they come from rome and it's valid around europe uh countries okay european unions they are valid so here is the one that is organized by the church when i went there when i started going to the one that is organized by the church it's, it's written fashionable fashionable it's very easy easy okay 
so as you can see the two the, the two books everything is in this book but this book is missing a lot of things this book teaches you the numbers and the uh, you know the basic um verbs and the how to communicate that is what this and the map and pictures how to pronounce table and the, how to pronounce some things while this one here gives you almost everything you want there is also dictionary inside here for you to translate so the certificate that it should you know the church gives you is just to you know show that you followed italian language school as a foreigner but the certificate is not as powerful as this one here this one certificate has more volume than this one one good thing about this particular certificate here is that um is that when you go with this particular one when you have a child when you go to church to you know to enroll for the language school with the church you can take your kids with you they have a space where you keep your child you can be seeing your child while you're studying okay but this one here they don't allow kids because it's a very serious government school i've tried i remember when i finished my a1 and a2 and i went there to you know after having my son to enroll for b1 they said no i can't with a child so i had to wait at the end of the day i didn't go i still will enroll again but i didn't go to i didn't I, i'm still thinking of going back just to learn the language because you know learning is good learning is good if i ever have time and uh, you know if i ever have time to go to evening school i still want to go to you know learn more about the country i am living which is italian language because it's a it's a fun language i must say so yeah i hope i'm explaining this well to you guys so um why am i explaining all of this it's because i have a lady i know a lady that when i was going to shipi uh, when i was doing my a1 and a2 she was also doing her i think she was in a b1 as of that moment because she was i don't know how long she'd been in, living in italy so i me for me at that at that moment i was like two um a year or thereabouts into this country so she already gone far with the language but she was going to this particular one that is organized by the church and i asked her can i bring a child my child to this school because the chippy i don't allow kids in she said and uh, i also asked her do they give certificates she said yes they give certificate that they are that the certificate is valid that the certificate is good you can use the, the certificate i mean she said that the certificate is as equal as the chippy are own okay by then italian law haven't changed so um i don't know <laughs> no by then italian law haven't changed about the italian citizenship so she was going to that one i was going to ship it i was considering actually moving from ship to her own side of school but my husband asked me to continue with the ship so i tried to talk to her that ship gives certificate the certificate of ship is actually stronger than the one that the church gives but the church still the, the church certificate is still good so she was like no that they are the same so last year i saw her again we are talking about she was telling me that she's applying for her italian citizenship because she couldn't apply early or she applied but she had a she had a problem with documents so the law they changed the law so she couldn't get her uh, italian citizenship because she's also married to italian before the italian uh, law changed so i was like i got my citizenship before the italian law changed so i didn't need the the certificate b1 and b2 certificate to get my uh, citizenship so because i already applied before the law changed so she said now that she needs to go back to write the uh, b1 and b2 exam with the gpr so i was like i thought you said that the other school you were going gives the certificate that is as equivalent as uh, that is equivalent to gpr on she said uh, she was thinking the same too but she now realized she took the certificate to the commune when she's up when she's uh, uh she was applying for her citizenship that was when she realized that she needs to go to shipi and write the exam and uh, the exam that the certificate that will be issued for shipi is what she need for the citizenship and not the certificate that is issued by the church so now she's you know spent all of these years going to that particular school obviously she learned she learned a lot of things she learned italian she speaks italian 
but at the end of the day the same time she will have spent in shipper she spent it on that school and uh, she didn't have the certificate that is required for the major document that she need she, now she needs to go to pay money but i remember the uh, her own period those period that time she was not supposed to pay the amount that she would pay right now to write b1 if she will if she will have if if she had listened to me she didn't have paid the money that she's paying now because by then it was not expensive as expensive as it is right now so for you my people i'm advising you when you are planning of moving to italy and you're planning to you know you're planning of enrolling into italian language school please the church own is good yes but the church own is um is not equivalent as the one that is organized by the government the one that is organized by the government is different. The issue is the certificate that you can use to get any document that is required and you can still use the certificate to work. Maybe you move from Italy to Germany and they are looking for someone that will translate Italian. You can use it there. You can use it to work there. Your B1 and B2 certificate to work there or to work all over the world where they need Italian translator. So as long as the certificate is issued by the government because the certificate comes from Rome, they don't come from your commune so the certificate has power so when you move here and you're looking for a school to go um, i always advise you to go to shipper you can still go to the the one that is organized by the church they teach you everything is okay is good but at the end of the day the certificate they gives you there you will still go from that place to go to write another exam to shipper to get the certificate that you need so be careful when you're enrolling make sure that if you're going for this language thing that you're actually going to gpr and not any other school i understand some mothers that uh wants to uh you know go to the one that is organized by the church because obviously you will go with your child but if you have the possibility to go to gpr please go to gpr and not the other one or you can just go for to the other one just to learn the language just for the fun of learning the language but know that the certificate that they will issue you in that other school is not as filling to the one that it will be issued by the shipper because the one from the is, uh, is coming from rome is a national thing is the one that is, is a school, adult school uh from the government so i hope this video helped someone out there i hope you guys enjoy watching this video if you have any other comments if you have any other thing that you want me to talk about let me know at the comment section below and i will be glad to make that video okay so okay, thank you guys for watching and i'm going to see you guys on my next uh video god bless you bye